A new season of Cornell football kicks off on homecoming weekend. Optimism is high with a second-year head coach on the sidelines and the reigning Ivy League Rookie of the Year at quarterback. Bucknell is a fierce opponent, eyeing the school's first 3-0 start in more than a decade. The Bison feature the Patriot League Rookie of the Year at QB. It's college football, Bucknell at Cornell, next. Keep an eye on Rashad Campbell in the middle, number two. He's a speedy return man. And the Cornell season is at last underway. And the kick goes right to Campbell. With a seam, Campbell to the left side, past the 45-yard line. It'll be first and 10 from the 47. What a return by the senior from Sheltonham, Pennsylvania, 41 yards. Brought a lot of tricks from the Canadian League to Cornell. Here's Galatly. Inside the 15, the 10, the 5. Galatly. Touchdown. His first career touchdown, the sophomore from Issaquah, Washington. It's a long way from Issaquah, and it was a long way to the end zone. Watch the cut he makes. Nice fake. He breaks right there. There's the cut. He got nice blocking on the line of scrimmage, and it's just a race to the end zone, and he dives in in front of Robertson again, number five. Not able to come up and confront him before he got the pylon. Six nothing. Brad Greenway, 51 of 54 on points after in his career, nails this one, and it is seven zip Cornell. Sent three receivers to the near side on second down and 10. Robertson is lined up on Tasker. Matthews is looking that way. What a catch by Tasker! It's a foot race inside the 25, ripped down at the 15 yard line. Luke Tasker. Ryan Morgan, the free safety, took off in pursuit. Caught him by the ankle, and Tasker looks to be a pretty good imitation of his dad. Looking at him all the way, he didn't like, watch him adjust, because the ball is underthrown, and heat doves goes inside of the deep back. That's Robertson, the man who scored the apparent touchdown that was called back, and he turns it around the other way for Cornell. Matthews, by the way, ended up on his back on that. They brought a lot of pressure, brought both the linebackers and someone off the edge. And so from 32 yards out, here's Brad Greenway, four for five last season on field goals. And he nails it. He has a chance, by the way, to become the first player in Cornell history to lead the team in score. Drive start was at its own 43, one of the keys to that victory. Their second start in Cornell territory tonight as Wesley is ripped down by Big Hugh Stewart, the junior from Sugarland, Texas. Yeah, Stewart undressed him, took his uh, pads right out of his out of his jersey. Now they're bringing people. They brought him off the linebacker. You see him on the outside, 51, but opened up right in the middle. As you saw, Stewart, no chance for. Anybody to look downfield, Stewart, big guy out of Sugarland, Texas, as you said. Matthews threw two interceptions and he was stripped. The fumble recovered by Tim Bolt, setting up the tying field goal. And now Bucknell has its first lead by virtue of the second field goal. Matthews throws deep for Savage. yards he got great blocking kudos to Treader. see him on the right side there 79 he did a great job of blocking and that allowed him to get savage to get that open ball a little bit underthrown. you can see how open he was he reached back there was nobody from bucknell close enough to make a play on it savage caught two touchdowns last season a long of 35 he has a new career long. Point after by Greenway is good, and the Big Red regained the lead. And as you said, 
credit J.C. Treader, the converted tight end. Just moved to left tackle this season with a great block to help protect Matthews. And then 64 yards to Shane Savage. Set the stage for you once again. 140 to play. Bucknell trails by four. The Bison have a fourth down and three. And the ball rests at the eight yard line. So this is it. And it's on the shoulders of that man, Brandon Wesley, the sophomore quarterback who stands in shotgun formation with. Friend to his left. Squara, Dinick, and Walker are the wide receivers. He keeps, didn't get it. The Cornell defense stands. The Big Red takeover. I'm not sure I would have run that play. But you know what? I'm not down there. You know if it, but they have been. He's run this quarterback counter a number of times, and they they pulled a guard, but they got off the block. And look who led the way. It was Zach Imhoff, the senior, who was an honorable mention all Ivy a season ago. Neither team has fared well on third down today. Cornell's three for 11. They will go to the air. Got it! Ball game! It's Kurt Ondas off to the end zone. Touchdown, Cornell. The Big Red will win on homecoming. I tell you, sometimes you do what's unexpected. It works. 87, 87 yards. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, that's why I brought it up. Well, you know what? It's, I have to say, it's a pretty safe pass because it's long. It's man coverage, one-on-one. -on -one. If he intercepts it, somebody's going to get him and run the clock out. But I didn't think he'd be able to get it, but they beat the corner one-on-one -on -one, and then on dash 87 yards way to go mr on dash